Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, and happy Sunday actually, happy solar system Sunday, we're going to be doing the next two planets, although one's a dwarf planet, one's the biggest planet in the solar system, of build the model solar system orrery. Now, if you remember in the last pack, we did the last two planets, which was Earth and Mars. Today, we're going to be doing Ceres. Now, Ceres is actually a dwarf planet. It's only 296 miles in radius. It's actually located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. That's the first planet we're going to be starting on with. So let's do stage five. So as you can see, if I just take this card off, it's this that we're going to be doing here. We had already taken the other two assembly stages off this. So we need all the parts here for Ceres. So I'm going to lay these out. And this tiny dwarf planet here is Ceres. This is actually really just a really big asteroid, but this is what it's looking like. So once again, to create Ceres, we're going to be taking the large gear looking like this. And we're going to be taking the small gear looking like this. These are going to be sandwiched together. So what I'm going to do first is take the grommet or the bush that's going to go between them, put that in there, line up the holes, and I'm going to screw in three of these brass screws. So as soon as you've got one in, it's pretty easy to line up the others. Now I'm going to be taking this collar here, having it this way round, and that's going to be going onto that bush there. Now we need to keep this into place, so... I have a grommet that I've loaded onto the Allen key, which came with this. And I'm just going to find the hole, not this one here. That's what holds the planet arm, just the one at the other side. Get this in. And this will keep this collar in place here. So, taking my time. Now, a lot of people are asking, what torque do you use for these? What I do is I wait for it to bite, and then I'm just going another... 15, well, I say 90 degrees, actually. <laughs> I said 15, meaning 15 minutes on a clock face. But there we go. That's that collar in there. And then that enables me to put the bottom on. The bottom, make sure that it's this way round with the indents facing upwards. They're going to go into the holes that we haven't put screws in. So it's going to be that way around there. And again, three brass screws. And that's that bigger gear completed. I could put that to one side. And now I want to take the gear arm looking like this. In the smaller end here, I'm gonna be putting this larger bush in. It's gonna go in like that. And I'm gonna be attaching the larger gear just to the top of it. Now it has got some indents. So all you need to do is line that up like that and get a brass screw in there. And then we're just gonna do exactly the same on the bottom with the smaller bush, which interlocks with that one. Then I could put the smaller gear on top. And once again, a brass screw just down the middle. And that should spin perfectly there. Now we're going to put everything together. So what I'm going to do, first off, is I'm going to take the planets off this again. So I'm going to be turning this upside down. So I'll just remove Mercury. And I've got a real soft cloth to actually keep all of these planets in. I'll remove Earth and its moon, Mars and its moons. And Venus. I'm then going to take the Sun out, which is this whole spindle here, looking like that, and put that to one side so it's kept safe as well. I'm then going to undo the grub screw I got at the bottom, just a little bit, which will enable me to take this out, and it'll also enable me to just turn this upside down like that. Now I'm holding this still. I don't want to put too much uh, stress or weight on these planet arms here. So I'm holding it up like that. What I'm gonna do is take one of these washers, put that down the top. Perfect. Then I'm gonna take the large gear we just created at the start, and that's gonna go on next. And we wanna make sure that the large gear meshes with this side just here. So put that down, and it meshes perfectly in there. Then we're gonna take another washer, Put that down the top and then i'm going to put the next gear arm on which looks like that now we want the larger side facing down because it's upside down and we want it to be in line 
with all the other gears that I've got on this side. So this is gonna be kind of like there. I need to hold that into place with a grommet, which is gonna be going into this side here. Did I just call that a grommet? I meant a grub screw. I think these things are called grub screws. So get it in first. Don't worry too much about how it's positioned to start off with. But when I start to feel a little bit of torque there, like there, I'm gonna rotate this around to where it needs to be and then make that tighter, just like that. So it should be tight enough to hold its own weight now, like that, that's three gears in place. Now I'm gonna put this back in to the stand because the last thing I have to do is I have to put the planet arm in for Ceres. Now this planet arm has two sides. You've got an open end and a closed end. It's the closed end that's going in. That's gonna go into the collar that we had on that middle section here, just like that. And then once again, doesn't matter that it's hanging around at the moment, I'm gonna get another grub screw and I'm gonna put this in. This goes in at an angle. And I'm just gonna tighten this up again, just till I feel a little bit of torque. Like that. Then I can locate this where it needs to be. And when they're all in, it should look just like that. So, Ceres should just go in here. And I'll just put all the planets in where they go. Put the sun back down the top and then just put mercury in here and I'll just give it a slow spin just so you can see how that turns no problems at all and that's Ceres completed so in stage six the largest planet in the solar system we're going to be doing Jupiter so Jupiter is in the top of this tray just here so I'm going to get all of these parts out and this is what Jupiter looks like <laughs> pretty cool huh now Jupiter has 92 moons but they've got four of the largest ones here which are Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto so let's do Jupiter now you should be a dab hand at doing this now. As a matter of fact, when you start doing this, you will quicken up as you go along because it's exactly the same way. We're gonna take the larger ring and the smaller rings going on the bottom. We need these brass screws here. Let's get these in place. We have three screws to put in here. And when you're putting these screws in, remember one of these brass ones is longer than the rest. That's for these other gears. So don't put that in thinking that uh, it's part of this section. You don't put the long screw in here. These are just for the smaller ones. Once again, I've got the collar that I'm gonna be putting on. That's gonna go on this way. So it's facing that direction there. And again, I need a grub screw just to put that through this side and hold it in place. Perfect. Then we put the bottom section on, just like that. Again, the smaller of the brass screws this time. And there we go. That's that one completed. Just put that to one side. And again, we're gonna be doing these larger sections here. So I need this arm and it's the smaller section I need here. Putting the bush in the top, the larger, gear on this side and once again one of the smaller screws and that goes down there and then we flip this over like this put in the other side here that should lock into place put the smaller gear on top and then use the large screw that we've got this is an eight mil screw and that will hold all of this together So that looks like that. Perfect. So I've taken everything back out to give this again, because what I'm gonna do is hold this upside down and exactly the same way. We're gonna be getting a washer, putting that down there, 
taking the large gear, so the larger sections down below, putting that in there, making sure it's all the way down, taking another washer, and then we're taking the next gear, putting that over the top so it's in exactly the same direction as everything else, and it's locking into place, and I need to put a grub screw just through this side here. So once again, I'm gonna get a little bit of resistance on this. Then it's ensured it's exactly in line with all the other gears that we've put in and tighten that up. Just like that. And as you can see, they're all in line with each other like that. Once again, if I just put this back into the base here, load up the last grub screw I've got because we need to put Jupiter's arm in. Now this is what Jupiter's arm looks like. Again, it's this end, which is closed, which is going into that collar we had. So it's gonna go in there just like that. I'm gonna tighten that up with the grub screw that I've just loaded up. Having a table that goes up and down is invaluable for this. <laughs> much easier with one of these tables. Let's bring it back down. I'm gonna put Jupiter on, show you exactly what this looks like. That's all the planets on. Let's just put the sun back down the center, make sure it engages there. Put Mercury on. And now I'm gonna spin the sun. As you can see, they're all turning. <laughs> and there you go, that's the next two stages done. I'm absolutely loving this look, check this out. This is looking really good, isn't it? Now, if you wanna get this for yourself, once again, I have put a link down here to build the model solar system website. You can get this. There's also a promotion code there. At the time of making this video, it's working. I don't know how long that's gonna be working for. So if you do wanna get this, it's probably the best idea to get it now. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.